morning, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Lighthouse Television. We continue to turn on your world like we always promise. And today, on the spotlight, we have someone very special, someone that has inspired masses, someone that has inspired masses on not only just that, but even the ladies, the young ladies, the old women, the men, the young men, everyone gets touched. Why? Because of the force that she has behind her, that inspiration that she gives everyone, the hard work, the efficiency through her work. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's amazing to have our executive director of Kampala Capital City Authority in the house. And we'll be talking about the upcoming event that is really making loud noise for everyone to attend. It's necessary for you to be part of it. We are very privileged to host her today. And let's hear from her what it's all about. You are welcome, our Thanks. executive director, Jennifer Musisi. Thank you very much, Nelly. Good. And thanks for having me. Nice. And good morning, everybody out there watching this morning. Thank you for allowing our invitation, mm. respecting it and uh, being there on time. Thank you. All right. And we have been hearing a lot about you, mm. a lot. You've done so many things, tremendous, that have changed people's lives, young and old, uh, primitive and elite. How do you feel about that? I feel humbled and very surprised sometimes at the impact of the work that God is doing in mm. the capital city. Mm. And uh, I'm privileged, I feel privileged to be part of it, to be used of God, mm. um, to impact, to bring a change. So it's very humbling and very amazing. Every single day I, I, I write in my journal something amazing has happened. Yes. And there are so many amazing things that have happened along the way. Along the way. Mm. So I'm very privileged to be part of that. That's good. Yeah. As a lady, <coughs> I must take this opportunity to ask you this. Mm. Because women are struggling every time, wanting to be somewhere. They fight, they have their goals, but they never reach them. Mm. Now to you, what's been your life philosophy? That one thing that pushes you, that you believe in, that makes you stand out. I th don't have a life philosophy as such, yes. but a lot of what motivates me comes from the Bible uh, to, the f to the effect that uh, when David had served the Lord's purpose mm -hmm. for his own generation, mm -hmm. he fell asleep and he was buried yeah, yes. with his <laughs> fathers. Yeah. That sums up my motivation. De the middle of that scripture had served the Lord's purpose for his generation. I want to be able to serve the Lord's purpose for my own generation. Because generations come and go. David came, he served God, and he mm. fell asleep. So I mm. came, um, I want to serve God, and I'll fall asleep. That section there is my motivation. What can I do to serve the Lord to make a difference in this generation. In this generation. Yes. So you feel, anyway, it's for everyone now. Yes. You feel this is your time to serve all the generations. Do your part. Your to-do list. Make sure that when you rest, you don't have any, any regrets. Yes. At the end of the day, I want that scripture to be read. Okay. Uh, on that day when I'm being sent off, <laughs> Jennifer served the Lord's purpose for her generation and has now fallen asleep and has gone to rest <laughs> so that people can <laughs> see the things that God has enabled me to do. Enabled you to make do. a difference, make this world a better place. Yes. That's what motivates me. Good. Yeah. And as you're making the world a better place, here yeah. you are as the executive director, Kampala yeah. Capital City Authority. Mm. And we have uh, this, this event that is coming on board again is uh, here. It's not even the first time we've been seeing it yeah. happening. Yeah. And I, I can imagine it's one of the things that you wanted to be on the list so that you say, okay, Jennifer has rested, <laughs> but I mean she also did this. Yeah. And it's the reason that we want to really tackle it. What was its origin? What's the origin of the Kampala City Festival? The origin starts again. My... my his scripture in this work, or yes. the calling that I have in, as executive director, uh. is in um, 
Ezekiel verse 36, mm. chapter 36, verse 33 to 36. Mm. To sum it, it up, it says that um, God was speaking and giving a promise and saying that this city, which is now desolate and has become ruins, mm. shall become as the garden of Eden. It will be restored. Mm. And people passing through it will wonder and ask who has done it. And I, the Lord, would have done it in answer to the cry of my people. That is my scripture for the work that I'm doing. God promised. That's the scripture God gave me the day I was appointed executive director. Oh, wow. <laughs> a promise to transform Kampala. A promise to turn things around. A promise to amaze people by the things that were happening in Kampala in answer to the prayer of his people. People have been praying for Kampala for years. Mm. When I was a student, we were praying for Kampala and praying for Uganda because those were turbulent times. Yes. And God promised that he would heal our country. He would bring peace and make Uganda a heaven of peace, which is happening now. Yes. He'd make it a place where people trade and come and go to buy and sell. He'd make it beautiful. That time the roads were full of potholes and crime and murdering people and all that that was going on. And God promised that he would one day cause the, the streets that were full of mourning and, and cries of terror mm -hmm. become streets of celebration and joy and giving glory to God. And that the potholes in the streets would be filled up and the roads would become a smooth highway. I actually have scriptures to back that up. Yes. They would become like smooth highways and the glory would be lifted up to God. So when we came into the city, we looked at, I looked at what God had promised us, to restore the city and make it a place to give him glory. And indeed, people are beginning to give glory to God for what is happening in yes. the city. Yes. Not just in Uganda, but all yes. over the world. Yes. That's why KCC is, is getting so many awards internationally for mm -hmm. what is happening in Uganda mm -hmm. and also locally. Individually, but also as an institution. Um, because of what God is saying. And yes. they ask, how have you done this in such a short time? How have you been so brave? Because it's been hair raising sometimes, yes. the work that we do. Yes. How have you managed to do this? And my answer is, the Lord has done it in answer to our prayer. Of course, if I'm speaking in the UN, I'll not say the Lord has done it. <laughs> but I'll tell them, finally, when they ask me, so what keeps you strong? What yes. motivates you? I'll yes. tell them, I believe in God. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know if you believe in God. Or if I don't but really yeah. care if you believe in mm. God. But for me... It is what motivates me. It's what keeps me going. You so believe they, in God. I believe in God. I pray to God and I believe there's a God. So that because I don't believe God. God to actual things that people see. And uh, you, you cannot discredit the progress. And to me, the only explanation is that God has done it. I don't care what other people think, think but to yes. me, God has done it. So now, carrying on from that, we come into the city and we begin the transformation work, lifting up the valleys in the roads mm. by building new roads mm. and, and giving people opportunity to come into a clean city, yes. getting the garbage out because garbage and trash is associated with wickedness many times. True. So we come in and we think Kampala is one of those few cities in the world that have nothing on its calendar as a celebration for everybody across board. And then I remember the scripture, when the righteous are in authority, the city rejoices. And then the promise that God will take away the spirit of mourning and fill, it, fill the city with the voice of praise and song and thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Those same streets mm -hmm. which were filled with tear gas and riots and crime and pickpockets and illegal trading and all sorts of wickedness. We wanted to bring back into streets where people would celebrate and take over the city as the people that are thanking the Lord and praising the Lord for what he has done, bringing back the city, but also a, 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 an occasion to bring everybody together yes. in Kampala. It doesn't matter what level in society, what age, what your interests are, what religion you are, the city festival brings all these people together mm. to just celebrate being people in Kampala. We have people <laughs> who stay in Kampala. They may not be Ugandans. They are all part of it. And now we're getting people from the diaspora coming flying in for the festival. Mm. Last year we had people from the region, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, wow. coming in for the festival and bringing their performances. We have embassies and everybody participating in it. So it's a big celebration. And sometimes people ask me, so 
why are you allowing being a Christian, why are you allowing <laughs> this and allowing the other in terms of what people drink and what people do and how they celebrate? Mm -hmm. Now, when God takes over a city, when a leader takes over, over a city, you mm -hmm. take over a multiplicity of faiths and beliefs and social behaviors. You cannot regulate and say, celebration means this, because that's what I think. Mm -hmm. celebration, everybody has a way of celebrating. Yes, sure, sure. The important thing for me and for us at, as KCC is there is celebration and everybody is celebrating. We also put regulations. There are certain things you can't do. For example, in the float parade, when yes. you're having the floats and the bands, that huge parade, mm. we regulate what people wear so that you're not indecent. Yeah. We regulate <laughs> the be conduct and behavior. Mm. We regulate the, um, uh, the interactions of people. We have massive, massive security, so the crime is almost not there. So we regulate that, but we let people celebrate. Mm. That's why we have children celebrating in the children's um, area, children's, it's so, so fun. Clowns and all sorts of kids stuff there. Uh, and, and games and tricycles and bicycles and music for the children. It's just so much fun. Yes. So children are there. Then we have um, the Muslims. They are on their own location mm -hmm. with Muslim entertainment and singers and dancers and prayers and everything and rice and whatever. They're having a great <laughs> time. And rice. thanking God that Kampala is so peaceful and so fun that they can have this kind of celebration in the compound or the yard of parliament. That's where the Muslims are. The children are at city square, which is usually a no-go area, mm. security, tear gas, riots, mm. but the children are there celebrating. Then the, the Christians are in the Sheraton Gardens where we never used to go freely. We are there in our hundreds, praising the Lord, having dances, entertainment, music, prayer, dedication, fireworks, everything happens there. Uh, the, 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 there's a, uh, the Indians, there's an Indian stage where the Indi Indian music, last year they flew in a, a star, an mm. Indian star, they have oh. Indian food, they're having their celebration. Then there's the general happiness, <laughs> the general happiness one where <laughs> We call it the Chigunda stage. Mm. Their music, their dancers, their entertainment, they are, every, they are also there. And then there's food across board. Everybody oh has God. something. Whichever there are restaurants set up on the streets, there are Chinese restaurants, you have Serena, you have, you know, all sorts of... And then you have Rolex and, and Pirao and Mpombos. Everything <laughs> is there. So there's something right. to everybody to enable everybody to celebrate mm in a way that they know celebration happens. There, of course, there's a lot of business people buy and sell, and it's a great, great uh, event for just people to chill out and have fun and bring their families. One family was telling me that the most awesome experience for them was sitting down as a family in front of um, uh, what used to be commercial bank, um, UCB. Yes, Chum right Towers. Chum Towers yes. now right in the middle of the road as a family and have a picnic. And they are like, you know, yay, you know, we can have a picnic in the On middle of Kampala day. Road. So yes. things like that. Seeing yes. camels and elephants and horses going down, yes. uh, up and down Kampala yes. Road. It's, it's such fun stuff that people would not have anywhere yes. else. And it's free. That's the big thing. Above you don't all, have to pay free. for it. It's free. <laughs> so I think God has given people an opportunity just to celebrate and party. Good. And then the glory goes to him. But before it happens, months before we ha it happens, yeah. we have teams of intercessors mm. that are out on the streets praying, dedicating the city, surrounding the city, dedicating all these places to God and just securing it in the spirit mm. so that by the time that they have people praying for the weather, praying for the security, praying for order, praying for 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 the availability of everything that we need. You know, they just pray through everything. So by the time it happens, they, they, God has already taken over. That's what I believe. And they've been amazing in terms of no incidents, no uh, violence, no nasty things happening. So they, they've been amazing in the way they've been organized. Last year, uh, they happen in rainy season usually. But in all the three years, rain has not stopped us because it hasn't rained. Mm -hmm. Last <laughs> year, it actually started raining when I was just arriving. It the weather forecast 
because we checked the weather forecast and that morning yes. it was thunder thunderstorms and rain the whole day that was the weather the forecast whole, yes. so when i was arriving it started it was really dark and it started drizzling and yeah. i told the lord we we prayed that it would not rain please do Don't not let it <laughs> rain because we cannot have rain today yes. and in the next few minutes i saw the clouds parting and opening up and the clouds pushing back it did not rain that was an answered prayer yes instantly. directly for me <laughs> instantly <laughs> yeah so things like that have happened and and we're very grateful so i'm totally totally um convinced that this is the celebration that god promised would happen on the streets of campus good yeah when we um, yeah. Um, personally i'm impressed yeah. because not everyone who will be hearing about the ed of kcca will think that there is christianity attached to it no way but all things that do happen yeah. actually people need to know that there is something behind the curtains always mm. there's, so there's got to be something yes yeah, something that to be something. is cooking yeah. or yeah. has been cooking for yeah. some time mm. because when you talk about the prayer that's been done and and also the the fulfillment of the promises that god you know mm. promised and picking out the scriptures it's just amazing to see that in exactly what he promised is the promise being fulfilled mm. or not and mm. the fact is we are seeing mm. the promises are mm. being fulfilled mm. i mean the roads every, everyone can see yeah. everyone can see what the traffic lights are up to now mm. things have really changed mm. and we are impressed that it is not only you as a lady but there is a universal for somewhere that is facilitating you mm. all through mm. yes I and also what um what people do not know is that for every road that you see, mm. every traffic light that is installed, mm. every program that we start yes. has been born in prayer. We pray every single day before <laughs> we start work. We, we yes. pray for an hour. And we used to pray in my boardroom next to my office, but we became too many. So now we pray in different directorates. Every morning from 7 to 8 is prayer time. We commit our budget, we commit our legislation, we commit the security of the city, we commit our programs, we commit our leadership, we commit everything we do. Even the meetings we are going to have for that day, we pray for them. And then God starts moving. God has done amazing things. Government has done amazing things. Changed the laws, changed the budgets, changed the parliament schedules, changed... <laughs> budget ceilings even though IMF has set them or World Bank mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just so that they can accommodate KCC. So it's just amazing it's and it has prayer. to be God. It has to be God. It can't be anything else. Just like I say, yeah. seek God first and then the rest will fall in yeah. line. Mm -hmm. The everyday prayer that you make in your office, mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the, the, the whole signature of Kampala City Festival, our city, our celebration. Mm -hmm. You just answered actually yeah. in advance what I was going to yes. ask who is to participate. Everybody. When you talk about everybody, mm -hmm. I see everybody did getting to mm -hmm. participate. Yeah. But then they do participate, but there are people that have maybe contributed far more uh, much than the other people were just invited. Mm -hmm. So the people have been together with you in their preparations. Mm. What are, who are those people and how do they get to be part of it? Like, like you? Like Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> like Lighthouse yeah. Television. Mm. We are excited and privileged to really sponsor <coughs> the Christian stage. Mm. So how do, how, how do other people get to participate? Uh, first of all, I believe that if something is born of God, mm. he will provide for it to happen. When we came up with the vision of starting a city festival mm -hmm. four years ago mm -hmm. we did not have money so we just started praying that indeed if this is god he'd provide the money so we drew up a budget and we cannot take this money out of the government budget uh, because government budgets are preset for certain items and certain budget lines so we have this vision this huge event open for all free party without money mm -hmm. so we prayed and asked god to provide the money and we started approaching corporates and entities. We have this great vision, would you join us? And some like Airtel took the risk with us <laughs> and said they are coming in 
and then others, uh, Ruparelia Group and others. They caught the vision and came. Mm. So for the last three years and now four years, the, to the city festival is 100% funded by the private sector. We do wow. not put in any money as KCCA. Wow. Uh, our budget last year was just over 800 million. We got over a billion shillings. So we had an excess. This year we had 800 million. I think we'll have an excess. By the last count, I think we'll have an excess. <laughs> yes. So God has provided. So people come and just have a good time at someone, on someone's mm. bill. <laughs> but particularly for the Christian stage, the Christian stage has been happening. This is the second year mm -hmm. because we're doing the other things, but there was no support for... Well, at least we had not come up with the vision, but the Christians started asking, what can we do that is ours, mm. which is controlled, which is our thing where we are mm. comfortable. Mm. So we came up with the idea of the Christian state. Now, if you know the churches and the struggles they have, everybody's building, everybody has projects and, you know, the, 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 the funds are very stretched. Yes. So even that looked like, ha, huh, are we going to afford to put up a Christian stage as a church, as a church and yes. you know all sorts of churches and fellowships and Christians. Yes. So we drew up a budget and started approaching Christian agencies and, and churches mm. and corporates. Mm. Can you sponsor us? Can you sponsor this? This is our vision. Can you sponsor? Mm. Th they have overwhelmed us with the sponsorships <laughs> in terms of the money that they are putting in it, yes. the resources that they are putting in it in terms of human resource, mm. uh, the, the enthusiasm. You know, pastors would usually not talk much to each other, come together for the meeting of the city festival. Yes. And they plan with us. They have, yes. they have <laughs> given us their choirs, they've given us their equipment, oh. they've given us their time, they are buying food, they are giving us facilities to practice. And Lighthouse is one of them. Thank you very much. We are very appreciative. <laughs> yeah. But there are also uh, entities like Go Gospel Evolution, which mm. is a Christian company, mm. has given us a lot of uh, support. Top TV, Top Radio, mm. um, Power FM, mm. just the list. Seroma Christian High School, Glorious Church, Bonamwaya, Sajo Valo Hotel, uh, Makabai Ronnie, ETM Church, mm -hmm. has just called while we are here to say, he's, <laughs> can we pick up some money from him? Okay. Christ Embassy Church, Watoto Church, Kansanga, uh, Embassy of God, mm. uh, Rubaga Miracle Center, Eden Revival, uh, Property Agency and Management, African Renewal Ministries. There's a gentleman called um, Vincent Kagambo. I don't know if he's even a Christian, but he's given us money. <laughs> uh, several hajis were offering us money for the Christian stage. Wow. Uh, but I told them, uh, I think I'll let you know if we don't meet the budget, mm. but we're meeting the budget, so we're using their money for something else. Okay. So uh, it's amazing what God has provided for this, and I believe we'll have a surplus. Uh, so that's how it's funded. We provide the brains and the technical support and the planning and the platform as the city administration but we do not put money into it so it's it's just about the people to catch the vision yes. and follow yes the idea yes but we are grateful for the idea incubated mm. and mm. you know coming mm. out maturing in that manner mm. you are talking about a christian stage mm. And we are impressed that the Christian stage is going to be very actually careful. Mm. But I'm wondering if there are other stages. Someone out there is wondering, are there other stages mm. apart from Christian stage? Mm. What are those other stages? There, there are so many. Last year we had nine different nine stages. stages. Yes, that ah. means in different locations in the city. Okay. So there's something for everybody and there's so much variety. So you can move from stage to stage to stage to stage. Stage to stage, and different just areas in the city. Experience everything. Okay. Uh, there is the Muslim stage, mm. which happens uh, at the Parliament Gardens. Mm. So there the Muslims come together, there's entertainment, there's music, they have fashion shows, they have rice, they have, it's fun, a mm. lot of fun mm. for the Muslim people and anyone else interested. Mm. Then there's the children's stage, which is happening at City Square. Mm. That's fun for, ev for the children. Yes. 
games and all sorts of things happening there and clowns and gifts and competitions mm -hmm. uh, and face painting and all those things that make kids happy. Then there is the, um, the, the, the corporate agencies that sponsor us. The big ones have different stages all over the city. Mm -hmm. For whatever entertainment they have hired and whatever fun they have. Mm. Then there is the Indian stage where the Indian community also has this Indian music, Indian food, Indian everything. That also happens somewhere else. And then there is the general happiness stage. <laughs> which I love that one. The general happiness, all those entertainers that people like are also there. The, the, the big stars, we get the biggest stars to come. So people go and watch them for free, which doesn't happen usually. So there's something for everybody. There's a zoo. We, we get the Entebbe Zoo to move to Kampala wow. for that day. Wow. So people who've never been to the zoo, the zoo comes to you. And then there is all the floats and the parade and the, 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 the costume parade and the competitions. There's something for mm. everybody. And buying and selling. People make a lot of money on that day. Oh, wow. So there's something for everybody. Wonderful. Yeah. So indeed, it's our city, our celebration. You yes. have to be part of that. Yes. But before we leave uh, this whole discussion of the Kampala City Festival, there must be future plans for the next. And it's just one important thing that will happen that probably is not happening in this one. And that's what you're going to end with. And mm -hmm. then invite everyone to be part of that festival. The festival has been growing over the years. Mm. We started with, um, I think, attendance 300,000 people. For the first one, the second one had uh, just under a million people. Wow. Last year, we had 2 million people. This year, I do not know how many people will have. There will probably be much, much more than 2 million. Sure. And we have enhanced, because every year we learn something new, we have enhanced. The, the Christian stage was amazing last year. It was amazing. And looking at the plans and the committees working on it and all the pastors and their energy and enthusiasm working on it, I know this year it's going to just be a blast. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we have fireworks in different locations. We have um, uh, more f uh, variety in floats and, and all those things happening. So there's going to be much more. It just keeps growing. And it, now because we have a system, we have financial management system and everything, it, it's not stressful for us because we're just watching and getting amazed at how good and better it becomes every year. So it's oh going yes. to be great. Oh yes. If you miss it, you've really missed out the event of the year you have. So okay. I hope everybody will be there. Everyone will be there. Yeah. Everyone who's watching this should mm. be there. From 9 to 11.55 in the night From we end nine. with fireworks just before midnight okay and by midnight everybody must go home <laughs> <laughs> from 9 to 11 50 mm. five of the fireworks will go on and then everyone will have to go home but remember that it's going to be on the 4th of october 2015 mm -hmm. at sheraton come over and and enjoy what will be taking place at the Christian stage of the Kampala City Festival. Thank you. Very we much. thank you so much, our mm. executive director of KCC, mm. to come and be part of this. Mm. And I am Nelly. Continue watching LTV. We are very grateful that you always tune in. Yeah. Have thank a great you very day. much. Thank you. Thank you too. Yeah.